15 Popular Foods That Can Kill Your Dog We all know how tempting it can be to give your little one a special treat, but what you may consider special can actually be harmful and an absolute no for them. In fact, more than 232,000 pet poisonings occur annually in the United States, and common household foods are the major contributor. Now by this point, alarm bells may be ringing in your head and you may be wondering, what can't I give to my dog? What foods can kill dogs? Well, to help you, we have put together a list of the top 15 most dangerous foods you should never feed your dog. So let's see how you can keep your little fella safe and healthy. Number 1. Chocolate Treats Chocolate contains theobromine, a chemical toxic to dogs, and can cause a range of symptoms including vomiting, diarrhea, rapid breathing, increased heart rate, muscle tremors, and in severe cases, seizures and death. Dark chocolate and unsweetened baking chocolate contain higher amounts of theobromine than milk chocolate and are therefore more dangerous for dogs. The amount of theobromine that is toxic to dogs can vary depending on the size of the dog and the type of chocolate, but as a general rule it is best to completely avoid giving chocolate to dogs. If you suspect your dog has eaten chocolate, immediately contact your veterinarian or an animal poison control center. Number 2. Cooked Bones While it is natural for dogs to chew on bones, it is important to only give them bones that are appropriate for their size and chew habits and to make sure that the bones are raw rather than cooked. Cooked bones become brittle and can break into sharp pieces when chewed, which can cause injury to a dog's mouth, throat, or digestive system. Ingestion of splintered bones can lead to serious and potentially life-threatening complications, such as perforations of the intestines, blockages, and choking. Number 3. Macadamia Nuts If you are planning to do some baking, keep in mind that macadamia nuts are toxic to dogs. Even a small amount of food containing these nuts will have bad effects on your dog. Vomiting, ataxia, loss of coordination, Weakness, hyperthermia, overheating, and depression are some side effects of consuming macadamia nuts. Since macadamia nuts are entirely safe for people and have not shown any side effects on cats, researchers and veterinarians have not been able to identify what causes them to be particularly harmful to dogs. However, we do know that even a tiny intake of nuts can cause severe symptoms. Dogs can show symptoms from as little as one-tenth of an ounce for every two pounds of body weight. So if you were thinking of giving your dog just a little taste, don't. Number 4. Nutmeg Any food containing nutmeg should not be given to dogs. This spice can cause severe vomiting and hallucinations. So even if your dog pleads with its innocent eyes for a cookie with nutmeg, do not give in. The main culprit behind these negative effects is myristicin. It causes a range of symptoms in dogs, including hallucinations, tremors, seizures, and in severe cases, death. The toxic dose of nutmeg for dogs is not well established, but it is thought to be relatively low, so even small amounts of nutmeg can potentially cause toxicity. It is a common ingredient in many regional meat dishes, soups, and cream sauces, so make sure to know the ingredients before sharing it with your furry friend. Number 5. Dairy Similar to humans, dogs can have lactose intolerance, a condition in which a deficiency in the enzyme lactase makes it difficult to digest lactose in dairy products. So how can you tell if the cappuccino you buy at Starbucks or a local coffee shop is unhealthy for your dog? The best thing to do is to test with a small amount of milk and look for any digestive symptoms in dogs. Look out for signs like gas, bloating, nausea, vomiting, cramps, and diarrhea. Number 6. Salt Salt poisoning or water deprivation in dogs could result from eating too much salt. This could cause neurological conditions, cerebral edema, nausea, constipation, depressive symptoms, tremors, fever, and seizures. In extreme situations, it might even cause death. According to the American College of Veterinary Pharmacists, 2 to 4 grams of salt per kilogram of body weight can be toxic to dogs, and at more than 4 grams of salt per kilogram of body weight, it becomes fatal. 
Because of this, giving your dog salty treats like pretzels, salted popcorn, or chips is not a good idea. It is also important to ensure your dog has access to fresh drinking water. Number 7. Raw Dough Raw dough can cause several problems for dogs, including bloating, vomiting, and potentially even alcohol poisoning. This is because raw dough contains yeast, which can continue to ferment and produce gas in a dog's stomach. This can cause the dog's stomach to become distended and painful, and in some cases can even cause the stomach to twist, leading to serious complications. In addition, the raw dough has raw eggs, which could have bacteria that can be harmful to dogs. So if you are baking bread, rolls, or sweets, and the recipe includes yeast, keep that dough away from your dog. We've made it halfway through our list, and we sincerely hope you've enjoyed it so far. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and ring the notification bell if you want to see more content like this. Let's move forward with the video. Number 8. Onions and Garlic Onions and garlic contain compounds called disulfides and thiosulfates, which are toxic to dogs and can cause a condition called hemolytic anemia. In hemolytic anemia, red blood cells are destroyed more quickly than they can be regenerated. When a dog ingests onions or garlic, these compounds damage the red blood cells, leading to anemia and other serious health problems. So before giving your pet store-bought food, be sure to check the labels because onion and garlic powders can be found in many packaged foods, even baby food. Number 9. Grapes and Raisins Can dogs eat grapes? The answer is no, and this goes for raisins too, as they are dried grapes. Grapes and raisins are extremely dangerous for dogs, though the studies have not yet identified the specific component of the fruit that causes this reaction. The toxicity varies from dog to dog. However, a study that looked through 169 reports discovered that some dogs actually died after eating just a handful of raisins. Therefore, eating any amount should be treated severely. Number 10. Avocado Person is a toxin present in avocados. Well, it is not toxic to humans, but for dogs it is very harmful. It is present in avocado fruit, pits, leaves, and bark, so you should refrain from giving your dog any parts of the plant. This toxin results in fluid accumulation in a dog's lungs and chest and makes them struggle to breathe, which can lead to oxygen deprivation and perhaps even death. Additionally, fluid can also build up in the gut, pancreas, and heart and cause further complications. A dog could also unintentionally ingest an avocado pit, which could cause choking or a blockage in the digestive system. Number 11. Caffeine Caffeine is a stimulant that can have harmful effects on dogs. It works by stimulating the central nervous system, which causes an increase in heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature. Caffeine also affects the gastrointestinal system, causing vomiting and diarrhea. In addition to these effects, caffeine also interferes with calcium absorption in the body, which could lead to bone and joint issues in dogs. So it is important to keep caffeinated products such as coffee, tea, soda, and chocolate out of reach of dogs. Number 12. Fat Trimmings Like humans, dogs can develop pancreatitis, a serious and potentially life-threatening condition if they eat too much fat. Symptoms of pancreatitis in dogs include vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, loss of appetite, and lethargy. In addition to the risk of pancreatitis, fat trimmings can also contribute to obesity in dogs, leading to other health problems such as diabetes, heart disease, and joint problems. It is important to feed your dog a balanced diet appropriate for their size, age, and activity level, and to consult with your veterinarian if you have any concerns about your dog's diet. Number 13. Apples Apples' fleshy parts are harmless for dogs, but the seeds and the core are not safe. The apple's seeds, stems, and leaves contain a compound called amygdalin, which produces cyanide when digested. While the amount of amygdalin in apple seeds is relatively small, removing the seeds, stems, and leaves from the apple is still important before giving it to your dog to prevent the risk of cyanide poisoning. It is better to be careful than sorry. Additionally, the core of the apple can be a choking hazard for dogs, so it is important to remove it before giving your dog an apple. Number 14. Xylitol 
The artificial sweetener xylitol, often found in candies, gum, toothpaste, and baked goods, can have quick and devastating effects on your dog. A sudden surge in insulin circulation brought on by xylitol could cause a dramatic drop in blood sugar and even liver failure. Early symptoms include frequent vomiting, fatigue, and lack of coordination. Xylitol use can result in liver failure in as little as a few days, so make sure to keep all products containing xylitol out of your dog's reach. Number 15. Alcohol We have all seen Instagram videos when owners give their dogs a sip of an alcoholic beverage and watch as their dog staggers around tipsy. Not cute. Not only can booze make your dog drunk, but even small amounts could cause problems like diarrhea, vomiting, loss of coordination, problems with breathing, coma, and even death. The smaller your dog is, the more prevalent and severe these issues are likely to be. The best way to ensure your dog does not eat anything harmful is to keep these foods out of your dog's reach. Make sure you don't leave these foods on counters or tables, purses, or anywhere else where your dog could get to them to minimize the risk. If you need to take your dog to the vet, make sure to bring any relevant packaging, a sample of the poison, or even vomit. Your veterinarian will need this information in order to save your pet. Do you find this video informative or helpful? Let us know in the comments section below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Don't forget to like and share. Stay healthy!